Hi guys, so in this video I'm gonna be showing you uh, some, of the, some of the most uh, used uh, connectors uh, for wiring. So what we have here, those are the uh, those ones that are called push-in wire connectors. Yeah, those are uh, very easy to use. Uh, a lot of uh, older guys they don't they don't like these ones. Uh, they still uh, like the uh, wing nuts. They say the uh, they that uh, they, they are more uh, efficient. So uh, these ones are pretty easy. Yeah, you. Uh, and move it to the side and pull it out and, and you can take the, the wires out they have in different uh, capacities they have this one for two wires this one for three wires four and this one uh, five for five wires um, they're most likely for uh, uh, 14 and 12 gauge I don't think you can put a, a 10 over here but you can but you can put a 16 uh, a 16 gauge but it has to be uh, solid this one uh, we we use this ones pretty much when they are uh, when the wires are, sh are short so uh, these ones are very useful because sometimes they they, they cannot uh, they just you can just uh, connect them uh, even if there's only a little piece of wire uh, uh, past the box. Yeah, so the other ones that we have here are the uh, the wing nuts. That's uh, I think that's uh, one of the most used uh, connectors that uh, that we see. Uh, on the houses yeah so these ones uh they're pretty much like uh i don't know they can hold it up to uh i would say like five or six twelves uh and uh i would say two minimum i'll i'll give you a shot uh in a little bit and these ones are uh uh these ones are smaller these ones are uh i think i i read uh, like uh Minim maximum three twelves, and I would say uh, minimum one fourteen and one uh, eighteen. So uh, because otherwise you won't tie good. The big ones um, they are for like a mm, bigger size uh, wire. I would say maybe two six. Uh, Three A's, maybe they will do it, uh, or a combination of uh, six and ten uh, for like uh, when you're connecting like the ovens or uh, stoves. Yeah. So those are, uh, and we also have over here these ones. Uh, they just, I, I don't think they, these ones are very old. Uh, I just saw them like what is it, like. Three four years ago, they're very handy. They're uh, like reusable. Yeah, so you uh, you just uh, leave the uh, the tab over here and then push the wire in, and you just lock it. Yeah, that easy. Yeah, they're re they're re they're reusable. But they're uh, they're expensive, as uh, yeah, because uh, like these ones, uh, they have it at Home Depot for like um, what is it, uh, twelve dollars. Same thing with this one with the wing nuts. But this these guys over here, uh, um. Yeah, I'm like, uh, what is it? I, I just got a hundred uh, uh, pieces uh, box and I think there were like $30. So 
we're looking like at, at like uh, uh, three times more uh, expensive. So uh, yeah. So but I mean, if you like it, uh, yeah, they're, they're they're nice. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna go to the uh, outlet uh, boxes over here, and I'm gonna show you uh, how to use those ones. Yeah, so the first one that we're gonna uh, be uh, using is the uh, the wing nuts. So what we do here is uh, we uh, we got the grounds first. inches uh, out of the box and then we uh, we twist it we are gonna twist it with the pliers with the lines and then we And we have it like this, and then we put the uh, we just put the uh, the connector like this, and we go with the uh, with the neutral. We do the same, like five inches out of the box. Cut it. Uh, we strip uh, like uh, one inch, one inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter with this one. Yeah, so if you cut like three quarters, it's gonna be harder. So if you if you cut like uh, inch and a quarter or inch and a half is going to be easier so we just twist it like this cut it and then we will put the uh, the wing nut same with this one but this one is going to go to the other side Pull them even, and then sure that they're even all of them and then we uh, and then we twist it again yeah so this is how you uh, use uh, these uh, wing nuts you just push them in like this So we're just gonna wait a little bit till we put the till they put the uh, the backsplash over here, and we will put the uh, the receptacle. 
so on this one we're going to be using the uh, the push in wire connectors so they are uh, on these ones so we don't have to twist anything we just uh, so the same thing we're gonna go with the ground first to the side yeah this one's got the, the, they go more uh, easily and just make sure that they, that they go uh, all the way in so same thing with the uh, with the ground. You move it to the side, and you cut them uh, even. So this one is a little bit bent, and you just uh, just gonna make it straight. So you cut it like, uh, what is it, like 5 eighths, uh, half inch, and just make sure that they go all the way in, and that's it, yeah. That's it, so basically, yeah, it's uh, a little bit more uh, faster, like this, but yeah, if you like it, yeah, go with this one, if you don't like it, yeah, you can use the, the wing nuts. Or the other ones, the Wago, the uh, I really don't know how what's the name of it, uh, but the the uh, Wago connector. Them. A lot of people like it. I don't like it very much. They are kind of expensive, yeah. But uh, same thing all the way in. Yeah, make sure that you don't cut too much so, uh, so you don't leave any uh, wire exposed over here. Make sure that you, everything goes inside, okay? So same thing. Let me push them all the way in. Yeah, and always, always, always use the uh, deepest boxes that will uh, give you more, uh, that will be more easy when you uh, are, when you push the wires in. Yeah, so this is pretty much like the rough like the rough wiring so that's it for for the pushing uh, connect so the last one is uh, it's gonna be the uh, this one's over here the wago connectors so for this, these ones, we only have the uh, the five uh, the five uh, wire uh, connectors, which is good. But uh, yeah, so when I went to Home Depot, they only have these ones. They don't have the number uh, the the one for three. So we're gonna be uh, using these ones. Same thing, yeah. So 
with this one you just uh, push uh, you just push the wire in and actually yeah it looks pretty tight yeah it looks pretty good yeah so we're gonna leave uh, this one and we're gonna but yeah here yeah, looks uh, looks very good looks very tight yeah so same thing over here Yeah, so not what I do is uh, I move, uh, I push all the, uh, all this wire to the, uh, the other one, so they will be uh, even. So I cut it here uh, nicely. Half inch will be uh, enough. And half, half inch over here. So since I only have this uh, for, for five, I'm gonna be using the middle ones. Same thing, make sure that they, they go all the way in. And make sure that you don't leave any wire uh, exposed over here. wire over here is a little bit bent so I'm gonna make it straight with the with the lines and last one is uh, is the pigtail so again middle And that's it. Yeah, it's, yeah, so they are very, uh, they look very secure. Yeah, if you pull them. Yeah, they are, uh, they, they look very secure. And the good thing is also that you can uh, you just lift it and uh, you can reuse it. If, uh, or, or you can add another one. That's another uh, benefit of this one. So this is this is the the other kind of connector. So, yeah, so I'm just gonna push this one in, and uh, I hope that you guys like the video. Yeah, please uh, check my other videos. I have a. I have a lot of videos. Uh, and I'm gonna be uh, uploading uh, more this way. Uh, yeah, they're pretty much uh, electric electricity related. Uh, well, uh, well, since I'm a handyman, uh, yeah, you're gonna find uh, another uh, uh, some other ones that you may be uh, interested. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, thanks. Bye.